old Hollywood song. We got a new old Hollywood song. A Hollywood song, yeah. How many Hollywood people we got out there? Hollywood. That young man playing the guitar.
Et ma mère Et ma mère Et toi Hey, this is Daryl Barbecue Superstars. We're here with episode number two. We're getting ready to rock and roll number two. And uh, we got Myra Mix's uh, uh, Cooking Memories class. Jack Mixon, the way Jack Mixon did it. Boy, it's going to be a whole lot of fun. We got Rosie Marie. We got a whole lot of stuff coming right at you. This is Barbecue Superstars. And here we go. You realize when you first started in started the same thing. The salt rubs and sauces that I sell are the same ones I use. You see me in the comp, I'll break the case open and that's what I use. And, and I hear stories and I know some that has been around selling their rubs and stuff longer than I have. And they don't use their stuff. Well, they use their stuff and mix it with something else. And that's bullshit. If you can't use your stuff out of the box, then what is the point of that? You know, I, let me tell you how I got packaged in my own rub. <clears throat> we used to have augers. A small one that was made for uh, mixing meal, cornmeal, sauce, and sugar, and stuff like frying. And we got one of them, and I was making mine because I was doing what I still do. And I, my, and I always tied up every weekend doing something. That time was doing 40 cups a year. I got tired of mixing it up and standing still, in a bowl, and doing this crap. So we started already, and I started bagging. And, uh, got to where people want to buy it. I mean, they buy the same thing I was mixing. I was selling it. I said, screw it. It got to where it's getting bigger and bigger. So I started, and I had my start having to cook back. And I said, what else do you need to cook back? We've worked on it for about two weeks. We got it just right. That was my original. And that's what I used. And then I did, I came up with another rub that I used, uh, my hickory. I used that on my briskets. And then I got the honey butter club rub that I used on my chicken. And now I've got a rib rub that I got. It's coming out. It's got maple flavor in it. It's got sugar flavor in it. And that's what I'm already using that rub on some stuff I've already mixed up at home, but now I'm having it packaged. But I know a lot of people that do rubs, they go in there break them and they're they going to go in and mix what the hell ever else in it, and you're not really getting what they're selling or what they're using. And uh, I'm not going to work that damn hard. I'm letting you get your help back to make it easy on me to compete. That's why I did that, start with. I want to be able to go and grab a case off the shelf and go cook. That wasn't because I wanted to sell a bunch of it. I wanted to make it easy on my own. But the selling came as an offset. But that's, you know, what I'm saying. I, I didn't do it to, to market the sale. Hey, now uh, we're going to... Uh, the next segment is Myron Mixon rubbing down the hog. He uses white vinegar. I thought that was kind of interesting that he used white vinegar, but he's going to use white vinegar on it to help hold the rub on it. And they're going to rub it down, and it's probably like 12, 1 o'clock, but they're not actually going to put it on the cooker till 7 or 8 o'clock at night. Uh, but it's some great information. Here we go. And what we're doing now, if this is a normal day, we meet sweating like we normally does when we take stuff out. You would have to do this, but vinegar is going to be the basis of a lot of things we do. We're going to, the sauce is going to be based off of it, the mustard and the vinegar. That's and our lot is based off of it. So what we're going to do now is basically just taking it and wetting flesh part here with a rub stick. acid in, in the vinegar it helps break down anytime you get any help doing anything to tenderize and it does could you use like apple cider vinegar to add no. any flavor you gotta use white well i mean you can use apple. the reason i don't use apple cider vinegar none of my sauces and none of it is too strong in my opinion okay. it's got a real pungent vinegar flavor i like vinegar but i don't you don't like that i don't like it that much Yeah, 
that run out, get out of where it went inside the cabin. Stick on it to wash it off. See, and that's going to add another flavor profile to it, too. Folks, the good old call it the sheen. Just dust it over. There's some guy on the radio uh, saying that uh, putting rub on a butt or a hog is a waste of time. Is that that it? Works again? He's on the radio? Yeah, he's on the radio. Okay. That <laughs> tells you a lot out there. He's on the radio. <laughs> Why is it wasting time? I don't know. It's just I heard him make that statement and I turned. He don't eat the bar? Huh? He just he don't eat bar? I guess not. Trust? He don't judge you. Probably don't. They don't try to turn in that shit in. <laughs> Where would he be at, DJ? <laughs> 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 Let's see if we can find him. That batch right there was enough to do one off. How about that? See that gold? Nice, you know, the, the Punch yeah, yeah, good. What we're going to do now, we're going to let them lay like this until we get ready tonight. We can get back light the fire. We're going to lay the other piece of wire on. We're going to wire him in with his garlic. We're going to flip him up and get him ready to go on the grill. We're going to let it sit like this while we all having our little beauty naps and let it soak it all up. Any questions about what we've done so far? What time do we leave back here? We ain't leaving yet. Okay, oh, done. Oh, so how long? What time do we put it on? How long do we sit like that? What time is it right now? A little after one. It's like quarter after one. 7.38? Yeah, about we ain't put him on to about, seven, about 8 or 9 o'clock tonight. That is something. Now, you're letting him lay out because you got that water wind. And with 45 damn degrees <laughs> and the wind chill more than that. You would do this in the summertime. This would be no more, no more than an hour and a half. In the summertime, July and August, hour and a half. I'm doing this today and it's working out great for us. We've got the time. We've got the time to do this because if it was the other way around, we were doing this in July, I wouldn't be doing this prep work until about six o'clock. About the same time we light the fires. <clears throat> Any questions about what we've done so far? Ain't a whole lot going on with this right here. Our flavor is going to come from that wood, coal, smoke, and from our mops that we're going to use, and you're going to have a great pork flavor. That's what we're looking for here. We're not looking for no injected competition stuff. We're looking for what the deal's supposed to be about. Okay, so the only thing, oh yeah, you can pump them up, worry, put another 40 pounds worth of liquid in them. So Martin, anything you did is you took off the membrane and the fat, uh, right, clean it up a little bit, but I left the fat on the tenderloins because I want the text. Right, okay. Uh, so, then back here you cut these back, or was that already done? That was already done. That was already done, so you already done. You don't do a lot of trim work on this. Right. Okay. Just laying down. Not right. like the other hogs you're thinking about. Right. Yeah, so the other, the other hog, we'd have cut these ribs. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. we'd have taken the first three or four out. Exposed uh, the hands a little bit more. Well, they're pretty exposed. We're exposed anymore. Yeah, we're still rolling the back. Yeah, you can still roll the skin back. Yeah, we're we're still still back. Yeah. yeah, you you would have took and rolled it. it. Even with them back like this right here, here, you would have still cut the silver skin and then roll that a little bit back where you got another hand right here on the back side. Just expose right what's up with that silver skin. All right, slide me a uh, pointing neck. Get us uh, uh, another table cover. Mm -hmm. Bring it over here with the lady's hand. 
you can go get some Thanks, you bring them here. I guess you do. Are they in those boxes there? Yeah. Yes, sir. They're right there. Okay. What are you going to do with this paper? You want to move it out? Just leave it right here. I'm going to leave it right here with you. All right, so we'll move over here. Go right around the line. And the guy's got to get some. In mind, when you pick that up and just share the camera with it. Booyah. <laughs> hey, come on over here for your interview with, uh, you know, congratulations from Bar Barbecue Superstars TV. You're Thanks. welcome. Uh, this is your first place here in Port, uh, for, you know, in the Pro Division. What's that? First place for for pork, and you went and you went 500 bucks. Yes, ma'am. We worked hard for it. You did. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now Myra's going to rub down them hands and shoulders. I believe my fire has just about got going now, and uh, he's going to load them up on the uh, in a little while. But man, it's interesting to see all this stuff go on these shoulders and hands. You want to mix up some rub while we open it, Johnny? Okay, sure. You got to make the same rub or the same rub? Same rub. Same rub. Same rub. This is daddy's rub. Who's going to let daddy's rub? Daddy's rub. I'll get some. You can make some dark brown sugar. I chose to use dark. Right there. Get a half a teaspoon of cane, just like I did. Okay. All right. Just put it together. Pretty ham, I think. Yeah, it is pretty. They come from the same place? My dad cooked ham for the different place. Peacock meats have cockles, Georgia. Oh, okay. Peacock meats. Sorry, no, it's okay. I need to get in a different place. Y'all do what you gotta do. Mm, it's time to Ooh, how about a little bit of ham? Mm -hmm. There's gonna be a whole lot of trimming to tell what I'm gonna need y'all to do. Let me go over and grab the, uh, you know, grab that a gallon. Well, over there in this phone, we're gonna need to rub it down with a spinner or a stick. I need a rub a stick with me. Now the amazing thing about um, this is just white vinegar. He uses white vinegar only. We're not gonna put rub on skin, but ain't gonna hurt it. Don't get flavor, but I ain't gonna leave me some skin off of me. It's gonna be a little crackers. Yeah. Hello, Bobby. Be careful. I'm walking up and down. I don't know. These are not gonna fall apart. Stretch them out for the train. Yeah. That's what I say a lot about. You know about that milk. And then when it mixes with that milk. It's all really good. Anybody drink this out of Georgia and that's too busy, ain't this mother? I'll get a shit. 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 Season to start dunking up on the 
skins off of that, Thing there. All right. Woo-wee. Some people do a whole lot of talking. This band's doing a whole lot of cooking. <laughs> Rub a dub dub. Six bucks on the tub. Yep. I'm getting working out in our rain. Dust and work. I'm out here to get in your way, sir. What you want to do is pad it. Just pad it. Get you some put on the knuckle there too. Want to get a little flavor in that knuckle. I'm going to hold it up. I'm going to hold it up. It's it all going to go. If y'all want to, go ahead and put it on put the skin. Put some on that Got some excess hair. Make sure you get it on the skin too because we need to track. Baby, can I rub your butt? <laughs> well, you don't want to twist it up. I mean, you know, when you... buy some gas money you know they've been having some problem here handing out the wrong trophies i don't give a shit on what trophy they give me a lot they give me the check <laughs> okay for those of you who don't know that's rosie caparelli she's a television personality out of florida she does a great job at uh where she what she does and uh she's been giving out the awards and doing some interviews for me and uh so now we're gonna load down the cooker uh with all the shoulders in the hands 
Make sure everybody's going to be able to get along the line. Yes. Jim and Gap. Jim and Gap. Just watch for some time come out when I flip. Long way. Feel the hot tin board or yeah. It doesn't matter either way, but that's fine. Keep them all neat and pretty. Just like that. There you go. Pretty ain't guys. Right. You got that right. Just turn it back up. Bob. Gloves. Bar. Ooh, not bar. I'm bar. <laughs> Anybody having any trouble? Anybody doing the bar with wearing leather gloves? I want everybody to get burned out here. Right. 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 How bad at West Virginia? Uh, I said, how bad at West West Virginia? <laughs> there you go. Alright guys, we're going to Alright, uh, we're here, Barbecue Superstars, with the Grand Champion. Yep, Woodhouse Grill. Uh, we had a plan this weekend and stuck together. Mike and I are from two different teams. We teamed up this weekend and we split the categories up and uh, stuck with the plan and it seemed to work out. So. The plan definitely works. This is an awesome trophy here for Smoke on the Water, 7th Annual 2011. Congratulations, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. And you always have the greatest hat. Thank you, ma'am. If we try. <laughs> hey, man, congratulations. And what are you going to do with that money? Oh, uh, pay bills. Pay the bills. All right, this is Rosie for Barbecue Superstars. Okay, now we're going to show you how Myra Mix's dad, Jack Mixon, did it. Uh, they're going to fire up these uh, cookers, direct cooking, old style. So 34 inches from the floor to the where the grate is and all they do is burn the wood and it makes fire coals charcoal and uh, then they shovel it and go put it under the cookers and it's fixing to get right <laughs> Coming at you. What, right, you, what, what you think, man? It's awesome. Yeah? Yeah, good. Yeah. You, you excited about bringing this back home? I am. Yeah? Are you learning? Oh, we've got to learn tons of stuff. Yeah? You think, you think, you think your family is going to be happy with what you, what you learn here at the, at the school? I think I'm going to be tickled to death. Yeah, I know your employees will be, as you said. I'm looking forward to it. I bet it. I Okay, you, you want a little something here? Well, we got, what is this, seven plate pork, and we're in the hunt. All right. You're in the hunt now. We're, we're, we'll All right. take what we can get. <laughs> but you're going to do it fine. Things are hot. 
Look at them bad boys. Got the Mata Joe Friday. Wait, let me get one shot. Okay. Man, looks like this. Man, something tells me Marvin might know how to cook. Good working, young squires. <laughs> Pit squires. did stay up all night. Now I noticed that some people disappeared around 3 o'clock in the morning, but I actually tried to stay up all night and it like to killed me. 
And then about 8 o'clock in the morning, I was almost dead. But, <laughs> but we're getting ready to take all the meat off, and boy, it is beautiful. <laughs> Right here, tell it. That's all the competition. Look at that. Okay, you know, look at that son of a truck. I'll tell y'all something, guys. Look at that white meat right there. Mm -hmm. That's what it's about. Yeah, I'm in the bus bay. Oh, go ahead. Love it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll. You got one right here. I'll let it spread out. <laughs> This is most of what my dad cooked right here for me. For his carry out. That's all he ever cooked. He liked white meat in Now we're going to take off the, the whole hog. Oh Lord, that's a big old hog. All the part done, and boy, I'm talking about the skin made into some crackling. I mean, it's just beautiful. Man, I would love to have that hog up here at my house today, all cooked up. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
to do an interview, close it out with Myron Mixon, and uh, uh, I tell you, Myron Mixon really is a fantastic guy, and uh, if you don't go to a school, uh, you need to, but you need to think about going, but uh, you just need to be friends with him, you need to buy your sauce from him, and you need to support him, because I tell you, he's done a lot for barbecue, and I tell you, he's just a great guy, you just wouldn't believe how nice he is. When to go. Hi, this is Rosie. I'm here for Barbecue Superstars TV, and I'm here with Myron. It's so good to see you. You know, every, everybody knows you from TLC and Pitmasters. What do you think about what you turned in today for the competition? I mean, it's the best we could do today. I mean, you always have to look at it like that at any contest you're at. I mean, whatever you turned in, that's it. You can't go back and redo. And the contest we got here, and, um, you know, winter, hey, we're right here on the lake. 
Now, I do contests all over the country, from Canada all the way over the East Coast, the West Coast. Frank Cosmo had put some on the contest. That's probably one of the top three, and in my opinion, that I go to. I love to hear that. You know, I'm a local girl myself, and, uh, you know, I just love to hear when people come out and really, because this benefits the Boys and Girls Club. It does. And I mean, the thing about it is, I told Frank, he must know a lot of people because he gets a lot of things involved here. He's got great bands. They had bands on the beach last night. Uh, he's got these flowers from these antique planes. I mean, he's got the whole community participating. These people here that own like major restaurants are volunteering here for him today. I'd love to see the community come together to really help these kids. I mean, he's doing great. I mean, they raise money. The money's already made before he has the contest. He has such great sponsors. Their money's made before they open the gates up. And, you know, everything else that comes in is just gravy. I love that. And um, I'm really looking forward to seeing, you know, how do you, do you feel like your place tonight? You, you know, you've taken this this contest before. Well, yeah, well, like, we won the first one they had here in 05. And uh, if I don't walk, I'm going to be pissed off. <laughs> I love that. Just be honest. Be like, if I don't, I'm going to be pissed off. <laughs> That's the way I roll. I love it. All right, this is Rosie's Take for BarbecueSuperstars.com. Make sure whenever you do, friends, you never use lighter fluid. Always get yourself a chimney and start your charcoal with a with a chip. What, 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 what is that, buddy? How did that get here?
I like the saying it goes, we better not quit just <laughs>
Grim. All right, man, it's been a fun show. We've really enjoyed it. It's been our second show. Uh, I had to go back and pull up my remix and stuff because we just started doing television shows. And uh, I hope you learned something. I know Myron taught us a lot and showed us a lot. And uh, he's a fantastic guy. And we're going to Tallahassee this weekend, and we'll do some more shows. We're going to have some big lineups coming. And I want to give a shout-out to Bubba Q for doing a little intake in there. And we also want to give a shout-out to the Grand Champions up there in uh, Winter Haven that was on the video. Thanks to everybody for doing, helping us make this television show possible. And thanks for stopping by. Now, whatever you do, friends, make sure you never use, uh, shoot.